Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to see how to create the credit card payment form using HTML, CSS and jQuery mask plugin. Look at the final demo in which we can see the input fields and button. When we enter the card number, see the number pattern. There is a space after four digits and we can enter only 16 digits. Now look for expiry date field, here we can enter only 4 digits, after 2 digits we can see slash, and in CVC field we can enter only 3 digits. This number pattern is achieved using jQuery mask plugin. Let's open the demo in mobile view and try to resize the screen below 420 pixels, and we can observe that the two columns occupy full width. For the code, you can visit my GitHub account, where you can download or clone the demo files. I'll drop the link of this GitHub demo below the video. And if you like this video, please do subscribe to my channel. And click the bell icon, for notifications. Let's get started with HTML structure. First create the wrapper development with payment element in it, inside that create the title and below that create the form development with input fields. In each card element, create the label and input elements with label and input classes. and add the placeholder values to the input fields. Group the expiry date and CVC elements in one development.
Finally, create the button element. Now let's get started with CSS, by including its link in the head section of the HTML document. In this demo, I am going to use Ubuntu and Blue by John Google Fonts. Now include the CSS import file in Styles Sheet. Reset the default margin and padding values of all HTML elements to zero. Use the box sizing property to include the padding and margin values into the width. Include the Ubuntu font family. Set the background color to the body, and add the 10 pixels of the left and right margins. Now style the payment element by setting the background color, max width and place the element horizontally in the center using auto margin property. Give auto height, 35 pixels of the padding. Five pixels of the border radius. Give the position value to a relative, so that we can control its child element. Now style the H2 title element. Now style the label elements. Set its display value to block, because by default the label elements are inline elements. Now style the input elements. Give the width 100%, which is 350 pixels.
Use the letter spacing for spacing between the letters. And use outline property to remove the blue border around the input fields. Use the display flex property to style the card group elements. By default the flex direction is row, so that the expiry date and CVC elements lay in one row. Using the justify content property create the space between the two elements. Set the card item width to 48%. Now add the space class to the elements, to create the space between the input div elements. Add one more class to all child elements. By using this class we can align the icons. Now let's add the font awesome icons in our file. First include the font awesome CDN link in our HTML file. Then include the icons. See how I am going to include the icons in our file. Now style the icons, set its position value to absolute, these icons are relative to the input fields. Place the icons on the left side of the input fields.
Now style the button element. Now let's add the P logo to form. First, add the required HTML elements. Now style the payment logo. Set its position value to absolute, which is relative to the payment parent element. Place the P logo in the center of the payment. Use the TransLateX method to place the element horizontally in the center. Use the line height property to place the text vertically in the center. Now use the before pseudo element to create the blue box on top of the white box. Now style P element. Use relative position, to place the text on the top. Include the blue by John Font family. 
and increase the font size. And adjust the line height. Let's theme the mobile version. First include the responsive meta tag in the head section of the HTML element. below 420 pixels, give the flex direction of the card items to the column. And make its width to 100%. Look at the input field. Now there is no pattern validation for the input fields. To add the pattern validation, include the jQuery and jQuery Mask CDN plugin link in our HTML element. There is default HTML attribute called data mask, which is provided by jQuery mask plugin. By using this attribute we have to add the patterns to the input field. To the card number, I am going to add the 16 digits and space after every 4 digits. Here 0 represent the number. Which means we can enter only numbers in that field. We cannot add the text or extra numbers than what we specified.
If we add 4 or 3 zeros in data mask then we can enter only 3 or 4 numbers that's all. Math. Now add patterns to the expiry data and CVC. If we add 4 or 3 zeros in data mask then we can enter only 3 or 4 numbers that's all. Math. Thank you for your attention. I hope you enjoyed the video, so don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and ask me anything in the comments section. See you in another video.